Hi friends, this is a cartoon Satish Acharya. Happy New Year to all of you. Hope you have a great year ahead. Uh, there is no particular occasion to come up with this video. I've been uh, thinking about uh, creating more videos for cartoon lovers. Uh, this is an excuse. I've been thinking about uh, about drawing a live cartoon about uh, cricket. Uh, I'm tired of drawing lots of uh, political cartoons. Uh, I thought I'll I'll try drawing a cricket cartoon. Uh, cricket has been one of my few passions during my uh, school and college days, apart from cartooning and uh, cinema. I used to play cricket, and uh, I was uh, I was passionate about cricket also. I wanted to join uh, a bank and uh, play cricket for the bank. because uh, earlier uh, most of the cricketer used to represent different banks uh, but uh, somehow uh, i couldn't make a career in cricket i ended up in uh, cartooning no regrets the best part is i religiously follow cricket and uh, i draw lots of cartoons on cricket uh, having played cricket for some time it helps me to draw uh, cricket cartoons uh, better in a better way uh, i think uh, i have little more understanding of the game i think as a cartoonist and uh, i am connected to lots of cricket fans also through my cricket cartoons it's it's a great honor uh, and uh, most of these cricket fans they have more knowledge about uh, cricket than uh, many of the cricket commentators or cricket experts uh cricket is a big passion in uh, uh in india uh and uh, it's it's a it's a great way to connect with people also i'm happy that way anyway so today's live session is not uh, uh live technically it's a recorded live uh, because i was testing uh, some streaming software and uh, i thought I'll make it live. So, how many of uh, you keep uh, New Year resolutions? Uh, I I read on social media media about uh, lots of New Year resolutions. Some are funny, some are serious, uh, some are temporary, some lasted for one day or two days or one week. So, it's quite interesting. uh talking about the new year resolution uh i don't uh, i don't believe in uh, uh, keeping a, a new year resolution uh, because if you want to uh, try some discipline regime uh any time is good time to start something new or something good if i want to keep one resolution for this year that would be to create more uh, uh, live cartooning sessions for cartoon lovers because uh, I keep getting lots of enquiries from youngsters mostly students on social media. Uh they keep sending uh, queries, doubts about the art of cartooning uh at comment sections in different uh, cartoons. I can't afford to answer them all the time. Uh, because i don't spend uh, lots of time on social media i just post my cartoons and uh, log out just to keep my sanity intact because social media has become so toxic this these days especially for cartoons like me uh it's become a uh, little tough i i miss uh, interacting with cartoon lovers uh i think this is one way to interact with cartoon lovers because i can i can answer or address the issues faced by uh cartoon enthusiasts here okay about the questions from uh, cartoon lovers or cartoon enthusiasts mostly youngsters most of the questions are about software uh, they also ask about uh, different uh art style or drawing style to be followed 
I feel uh, if you are talking about the art style, you should stick to the art style which which is more natural to you. Uh, don't try uh, very detailed or, or very strange art style uh, which which does not come naturally to you. Be natural with your style. And about the software, I mean. Okay, software is just a tool. Uh, there are there are uh, lots of uh, softwares available. Uh, you, sh- you can if you if you are keen, you can try out those softwares and uh, explore them. Uh, don't don't hesitate to explore them because every software has something unique to offer. But before coming to software, please please start drawing on paper using pencil or pen because that's the way to start drawing that's the way to learn sketching improve your sketching once you're comfortable with uh, drawing on paper and using pencil or pen then migrate to software or digital tablets of course most of these youngsters are uh, are in a hurry and uh, uh, and they are they are tech savvy also, so they want to try out different uh, digital tablets, different different apps, different softwares. It's natural. I would advise them to try out uh, all those things, but keep in mind that working on paper using pencil or pen is very important. Uh, it, it it will give a natural flow to your hands and uh, your drawing skills. Through these videos, I'll try to answer your questions. If you have more questions, you can uh, uh, you can you can connect me on uh, other social media handles. I'll try to address them as quick as possible. I'm also planning to come up with a cartooning course soon. Uh, hopefully, I'll try to make it more affordable for students. I really love uh, uh, interacting with the young cartoon enthusi- enthusiast. I'm not a trained cartoonist. Uh, whatever I've learned in cartooning is through observing the works of uh, legends or uh, following the works of uh, many cartoonists. Uh, some senior cartoonists, some junior cartoonists. Uh, we need to keep our, our mind open. We need to learn from everybody. Uh, there are many things good offered by uh, many cartoonists uh, pick the good things and try to adopt to your style and don't hesitate to learn learning is a long process it's a continuous process you keep learning you keep improving you keep adding more skills to your uh, it's more like adding vocabulary you learn more skills and uh, in every work you try to add something new but also keep in mind that editorial cartooning is not just about drawing drawing is just one part of editorial cartooning uh, in fact uh, i would i would uh, i would give more importance to ideas visual ideas how you present your uh, opinion visually is more important if you talk about the process of editorial cartoon i normally start with the opinion when you read a news you have to form an opinion to form an opinion you have to uh, follow different aspects of the news a look at the look at the materials available a look at the different perspectives of the news uh, 
try to get more information from the internet that's the that's the toughest part because uh, uh, Google offers lots of information but uh, it could be a heap of trash also so you have to be very selective uh, in picking the authentic source of information it's a tough job but uh, gradually you keep uh, you keep learning and uh, you settle for some sources so that's the uh, opinion part so whenever you read news or uh, whenever you, read, you want to uh, draw a cartoon on a certain topic you have to uh, you have to come up with a, your own independent opinion that's more important and then the next part is how to put that opinion or, or convert that opinion in a, to a visual so you need ideas you need visual ideas uh, to convert that opinion into a creative cartoon many people ask about the uh, humor side of visual cartoon uh, personally i feel uh, humor is not very very crucial for visual cartoons because visual cartoon can use uh, dark humor uh, to convey a message message is the most important part in a editorial cartoon so you should come up with a visual which which sends the right message which conveys the right message uh, which conveys it more effectively so how do you come up with uh, a visual idea how do you come up with a, uh, a visual concept to convey your message so there are many methods uh, used by many cartoonists let me tell you uh, clearly that uh, most of the cartoon ideas are spontaneous when you read a news your brain is so fine tuned that you come up with an idea maybe immediately or after some time you spend some time with the news or uh, you whenever you read a news a brainstorm happens and uh, you come up with an idea uh, sometimes spontaneously sometimes it will take some time sometimes it will take days but there are also certain techniques which you can use to uh, come up with an idea there is always a question about how to pick the subject or the topic for the day normally as a cartoonist my job is to pick the topic which is a talking point of the day uh i'm working on a, a topic which has been uh, discussed widely for the last two days yesterday and today even day before that uh it's about the cape town test which was concluded uh, yesterday and uh, the match the test match was uh, it ended in one and a half days uh, the the pitch was quite bad uh, the bounce was uh, uneven and it was quite dangerous uh, to put it mildly uh, you could you could see that some of the deliveries were uh, uh, rising dangerously or bouncing dangerously and uh, some batsmen were hit also uh thankfully nobody was injured so i want to draw a cartoon on that uh, that test match it's a second ta test match between india and uh, uh, south africa on the first day 23 wickets were lost and uh, within 107 overs i think the match got over quite astonishing and quite a record
even during the uh, post match press conference indian uh, captain rohit sharma was critical of the pitch and he had some unpleasant things to say about the icc and match referees uh, rightly so because uh, uh, people could understand his frustration because these pitches so dangerous that it could have hurt somebody uh, it could have ended uh, some batsman's career also it's that dangerous and uh, we know that uh, icc is not not neutral when it comes to uh, rating the pitches they are biased against indian pitches but icc match referees are more critical of the pitches which we turn on uh, on day one, day one so uh, here my opinion is that the pitch was dangerous i want to say in this cartoon that pitch was very dangerous for the batsman so i need to come up with a visual uh to convey my opinion so here there are many elements uh, which are connected to cricket uh, there is a pitch which is dangerous which is uh, bouncing dangerously and uh, there are batsmen uh who had to uh, who had to face these deliveries dangerous deliveries i could have considered other aspects also how icc is team different and i could have considered uh, rohit sharma's uh, a critical press conference many other things so here i'm working on this cartoon i'm ready with the the concept visual concept uh before i start drawing the cartoon uh the visual is ready in my head that's how it works so the ideation takes lots of time uh you spend uh, some hours coming up coming up with the visual you keep improvising a visual in your head and finally you have a you have a uh, a form of visual uh, for the cartoon so the next step is how to execute or how to draw this cartoon on uh, on paper or on computer For the last couple of years I haven't been uh, drawing too many cricket cartoons uh, mostly because uh, because of the clients I mean uh, most of my cricket cartoons were drawn for different clients who demanded cricket cartoons um and uh, for the last few years I've been busy with political cartoons also because lots of things are happening in political space uh I really enjoyed drawing cricket cartoons. Uh I enjoyed uh, uh, uh drawing cartoons for uh, ESPN Crick Info earlier. Uh the audience there was knowledgeable. They know more more about cricket. And uh, I could I could keep my cartoons uh, uh, subtle, the ideas, the punch are uh, subtle. And still readers would get the punch. Uh, that was fun. and uh, i used cricket cartoons uh, as a break also from uh, toxic political cartoons uh even if you draw uh, one or two cartoons on politics in a day uh, you need to take a break uh, to recover from the shock uh it's, uh, it's uh, some some news developments are shocking uh it it, uh, it shatters your faith in um, 
or democracy sometimes it shatters your faith in humanity but cricket and bollywood has been uh, has been saving me from uh, uh, all the toxic uh, news also i follow cricket and uh, bollywood news uh, regularly and look for look for an opportunity to draw uh, cartoons uh, uh, which are non political just like in traditional media how we use a pencil or a paper in digital media also i start with rough sketching i use pencil here and uh, do a rough sketch it's it's really rough Uh, but i can understand the lines i can i i i want to flow i I'm, i'm looking for a flow in those lines so i keep sketching i keep uh, uh keep correcting my lines and finally i'm ready with the rough sketch and then i do the the inking part even while inking i i make lots of changes uh to the rough sketch Once the inking is done you go to the coloring part uh see every cartoon has a different style of coloring i have adopted uh, my own style of coloring that's the last part in uh, uh, this cartoon one more aspect is about the software many people ask me about the software i use the brushes i use uh the brush settings uh, they come come up with so many questions i mean it's difficult to answer some of them because uh, uh, i'm not very particular about these settings i just explore and uh, settle for one brush i don't use too many brushes also Uh, here i'm using clip studio paint uh, which is a new software for me i've been using uh, uh, photoshop for some time uh, then i used uh, krata which was a free software then i also tried procreate on ipad uh, which was good also uh, now i'm using uh, clip studio paint uh, which is ideal for me because uh, in my cartoons i used lots of speech bubbles uh in some cartoons i use uh, i use comic style drawings with the uh, with the different uh, panels clip studio paint is uh, ideally made for a comic artist so this suits me and uh, i'm still exploring this software but uh, i'm i'm comfortable with this software right now compared to photoshop and uh, krita and and procreate clip studio paint offers me uh, lots of options lots of facilities uh, which are useful which saves time uh, which uh, which reduces the the number of hours or the, uh, the amount of time i work on a complete a cartoon so i'm happy with this software right now I enjoy exploring different softwares because uh, uh I try to learn all the time. 
uh, even in cartooning, I have I have relied on lots of YouTube videos, lots of uh, YouTube tutorials to learn different aspects of uh, uh, cartooning, digital art, coloring, or even animation. Whenever I have time, I I try to learn from uh, uh, learn something uh, from some tutorials. It's a great way to learn and improve your skills. As an artist, it's it's important that you keep improving your skills. You keep pushing the boundaries, acquire more skills. Don't stop. When you stop, you become uh, stagnant water, and uh, it's not good for your art, and it's not good for your uh, creative process also. I normally take around one hour to two hour to complete a cartoon. Uh, this cartoon might get ended uh, in less time, maybe uh, less than one hour, because I'm not I'm not adding lots of characters here. I'm not adding lots of details. Also, I'm keeping it simple. This is a simple idea, uh, so I'm not uh, making it complicated. Some cartoons or some ideas need uh, uh, more time uh, because you want to you want to add more more details and uh, you you need more characters uh, in those cartoons. It all depends on your ideas. As a cartoonist with some experience, uh, my advice to youngsters is to not to be obsessed with software or uh, digital tablets. Focus on ideas. Focus on uh, your readings, what you read. Uh, focus on how you explore uh, the web world, mostly social media. I know that many youngsters rely on social media for news. But also look at opinions. I mean, read opinion columns uh, in newspapers, and uh, read uh, books also. I mean, there are so many books coming up. Uh, don't rely too much on uh, uh, mainstream channels because uh, you don't get the right, authentic news. Follow people, uh, journalists, writers, uh, cartoonists, satirists, uh, who offer you different perspective, not just uh, criticizing the government, even uh, giving you perspective which are different from uh, the critics also. Uh, you have to look at uh, all the perspectives, all the opinion, all the viewpoints. And uh, whenever you use using uh, our digital a tablet or digital tools to create a cartoon uh, try to use uh, references also uh, because uh, you can't draw everything uh, from your memory uh, you might be familiar with some faces while drawing caricatures uh, or, uh, or drawing certain things but to keep the keep certain amount of realism uh, you need references, so search for references from from Google and uh, uh, use them in your cartoons. Uh, refer them, don't trace them, but draw the uh, draw referring to these images. It will give some authentic look to your cartoons.
and some people also ask me about uh, getting a client or getting the cartoons published in newspapers or uh, news portals it's a it's a tough job i mean now uh, if you are really serious about uh, uh, contributing your cartoons to newspapers or news portals first you have to you have to be really good your ideas need to be extraordinary and then you have to approach uh, the editors or the uh, these magazines or newspapers with your portfolio uh, create a portfolio of your the best of your works uh, uh, try to try to make a compilation of uh, uh, variety of your works not just stick to your editorial cartooning uh, you can you can also keep some caricatures illustrations or uh, some comic book style uh, artworks also because uh, if you're looking for a, for an opportunity to work in a newspaper as an employee uh, you need to be all rounder uh, they need all rounders who can uh, who can create illustrations create uh, caricatures and also do editorial cartoons not many newspapers hire uh, a pure editorial cartoonist try to connect with the editors or journalists uh, who are who are accessible on a social media send them messages or if their dm is not open you can you can uh, comment in their post uh, somewhere somehow you will get uh, some response because good things you can't uh, stop good things from uh, reaching more people if you're really good uh, you will succeed somewhere nobody can stop it and uh, if you want to make a career in editorial cartooning you have to be uh, you have to be brave also uh, there's the new uh, quality needed for editorial cartoonist of course uh, the constitution offers you lots of freedom and uh, some safety also but uh, you need to be thick skinned uh, because you you will get told your cartoons are going to offend some people even if you try to stick to a uh, non political cartoons and your cartoons will offend some people at some level so you will get trolled somewhere keep drawing keep sketching and uh, i'm sure uh, your passion will take you to a great heights so i'll be connected uh, uh, through youtube and other social media channels uh, i'll I'll, uh, i'll try my best to come up with more videos and more uh, live sessions and stay connected i'll uh, i'll keep you updated about the about my cartooning course and uh, also about a uh, couple of cartoon books i'm working on stay in touch i'll be back with more videos and uh, please take care of yourself see you soon bye bye